Hello everyone, let me walk you through the demo of Odoo REST API by Browseinfo. This application provides a secure and flexible RESTful interface for Odoo, allowing external system and applications to interact with your Odoo database using standard HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT and DELETE. It supports token-based user authentication and enable full crude operation on any Odo module. Returning responses in JSON format, it idles for mobile applications, web apps, or third-party integration. Compatible with both community and enterprise edition, this module simplifies seamless data exchange with Odo through REST APIs. So first of all, we will go into the settings. Here, under user and companies, we will go into the users. Open Michelle admin and here other under tab, you will find a tech checkbox for access to Odoo API. Enable that. We will go into the home page and we are going to refresh it. Here you can see Odoo API model will appear. So here you can create your Odoo API. I have already created my Odoo APIs in here. So first one is browse info JSON API. Under that, in API protocol, I have selected JSON. Here you can see JSON. Under that, you can see the redirected URL. Now, for custom APIs for dynamic model, I need to enter the data. So, for the model, I have selected contact. Besides that, there is the model name. So, I have selected REST partner. Here you can see get all record, get selected records, all fields and custom fields checkbox so i have selected get all records and custom field checkbox enabled here you can see the endpoint url besides that you can see the regenerate token button which is for your api token so here you can see we have already generated our api token and you can see the expiry time now here as i have selected custom fields so there will be button for fields here i need to open this and i need to select some fields which i need to show so here you can see i have selected city email and name now after this you can see as this is an json api so we will go into the postman here you can see our account in postman so here you can see we have already added our link which is here i have selected get and in here i have added the endpoint link which is generated in here i have added this endpoint link in here now under that there is an option for headers so in here i need to create my field so here i have created token and in the value for that i have added the token and which is nothing but this api token from odoo interface here i have added the api token under that i have added username and in the value i have added the username and password and for the value for the password i have added my password now here i have added a field for model and in here i have added rest partner for its value now after this if i click on send you can see under in response you can see the body is created for json here you can see the status is success and for the data you can see the id name city and email you can see the name city and email in the data in here and which is nothing but the fields which we have added into the model fields here you can see city email and name here you can see name city and email is updated in the data now after the json here i have created my one more odoo api which is for browse info graph ql here you can see the api protocol is graph ql under that you can see the redirected url and under that custom api is for dynamic model here i have selected model contact Besides that, I have selected model name REST partner. You can see the endpoint URL. You can see the button for regenerate token and API token and also the expiry time. You can add as much as model as you want. Now again, here we will come and we are going into the another link. Here you can see instead of get, I have selected post and I have added the 
endpoint url which is nothing but this endpoint url in the odoo interface after this under that again we will find a menu for headers and we are again going to create some fields so here i have created token username password and model and i have added the values for the token again i have entered this api token here we can go and see the api token and for the username we have added the value for username for the password and for the model now after this if i click on send here under response you can see the data is created we are just going to make this some bigger and here you can see everything in here in the result you can see the data for graphql here you can see the id and its value here you can see the field is id and the value is three field is name and the value is this this and the field is email and the value is this this now we will go into the body and here you can see the three fields which are id name and email here you can see the model fields id limit and domain you can just edit it as per your choice so here you can see the id is three so id ha you can also remove the id if you want from here and here you can see the id is three and id is three coming and for the model is rest part and for the fields you can see id name and email and here you can see the id name and email is coming in the data in the response you can just edit it as per your choice you can enter your own own domain and you can just change the limit from here if you have any queries about this video you can ask them in the comment box and we will solve your queries if you feel this video is useful to you please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel for more odoo related videos thanks for watching